hi guys hi everyone welcome back to the channel if you are new to this channel and for those who are returning thank you so much for your support i truly really appreciate you guys for your continued support and coming back and watching this video child thank you so much but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Um, on today's video, it is going to be a different video as you saw by the title of it. Um, yeah, the girl is currently going through a lot and a lot has happened. I think I haven't like picked up my camera to record for YouTube in almost a month, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> um, I have been go wishing to the max i don't want to lie life has been so hard in a way yoguti i ended up having a mental breakdown not even once not even twice i think three or four times yeah it has to be more than two times because um i'm still like in the pits guys i don't want to lie so i'm doing this video today because um firstly i'm doing this video for myself because i feel like um it's very important for me to like look back and reflect and also i'm doing this video because i feel like nowadays a lot of people can relate to what i'm going through and yeah guys um I don't want to i don't want this video to be long but i'll try and um summarize this for you as i can so guys um i don't really know like i i'm still trying to figure out what like triggered my mental breakdown and my like depression episodes but i feel like the way life has been hard on me as one of the triggers that caused like for me to have a mental breakdown when i say this i mean um like isn't i shangan like i am trying so hard to work for myself and you know when you're trying so hard to do isn't the end every time everything goes wrong that is me like everything is going so wrong like i need to stop saying like but everything is going wrong guys like everything is going wrong 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 you know when you're at a point in your life where you like a oh god i know we appeal i know you can see me as well why are you allowing me to go through things like this why do I have to struggle this much in order for me to get what I want and I'm still at that point guys I'm still at that point but the funny thing is throughout like throughout the whole thing throughout the whole thing my faith remains strong I don't know how but um like i always like have this um um cloud a soft cloud where i find myself a good okay fine as much as abc is not happening now but i know Gutungulungulu is here and um he will help me he will help me heal he will help me like get through whatever i'm going through so now to be more specific on what i'm talking about as some of you know that i'm unemployed at the moment and it's not like i resigned i chose my mental health over imali and financial security basically i just decided to go you know what i have been in the pits for the past five years and i need to choose myself so basically i chose myself my mental health and what's not and till today i don't want to like lie and say um i'm now having doubts about it no 
like that is one thing that i'm certain about like i am more certain every day which i made the right decision because the amount of um um of sadness i had was so much in a way would i i i had um suicidal thoughts sometimes i would like wake up in the morning and say in order for me to be free and be happy about life let me just um kill myself so that i so that i don't have to go to work and i don't have to face like everything I'm having you like that. So, you know, I don't know how to explain this feeling, but you know, when you feel like you are a failure, you feel like you have failed yourself, yet we are Sebenza, yet you do have a job. So, um, guys, I don't want to go deep into details about my previous unemployment because my previous job, because I do have a video about that. So yeah, if you would like to know more, please go and watch that video. But yeah, guys, so let me just take you through my whole like journey so far. So the last week of May and the first week of June were like the hardest weeks of my life um so what would happen was i would wake up in the morning and i would hear voices i kid you not i would hear voices in my ear telling me um telling me Uguti, um, how useless I am they would whisper Uguti, no munga vuga, there's nothing much for you in this world and you are not worth anything um, we think you're clever just because you are fighting what are you fighting for there's nothing for you to be fighting for like you are growing up you have nothing to show off like all those negative like voices would be in my head every morning i would fight them sometimes sometimes i would fight them but sometimes i would just cry i would just cry 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 and stay in bed the whole day i remember these weeks this um the first week of the last week of may and the first week of june i was in bed the only time in Anguanga, it was in the morning when i had to prepare kids for school but I would immediately go back to bed once they've gone to school. I would not clean the house. I would eat. Like guys, I have gained a lot of weight. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I have like gained a lot of weight. So I would eat guys. I would stuff myself just, just to ignore um, those voices because they kept on telling me like all the negative things about me about my life about everything so i would just give in i would just give in and be like oh really there's nothing for me much out there as much as i'm trying my youtube channel but nobody's watching my youtube videos and nobody's subscribing nobody like jay I would feel so so defeated I would feel so defeated in a way you would see I started being angry I started being angry at myself I started like not loving the way I looked like in guys I didn't have the strength to pick up my phone and record so um, I tried so much to fight I was praying a lot I was praying and also uh, it got worse guys it got worse in a in a way you would see i started like being angry at god i got so angry at god and i would like not pray 
my husband would like um come this pray we always pray every night before we go to bed we always pray so he would just we would just kneel he would just pray and i would just keep quiet Ginga because i had so much resentment for Unkulunkulu and i just like couldn't figure out no not that i just didn't have anything good to say like i would like not know what to say because at that moment nothing good was going on in my life yeah well and it got so worse that i also had uh, my nightmares i had nightmares um i would dream day i'm a popo of which in the morning i would not remember so guys it was uh, that bad it was that bad i don't want to cry about it because the more i get into the details the more i like want to cry about it but <sighs> it's a lot life is a lot so i'm still currently going through that and it's getting better now because i am forcing myself i don't want to lie and say um what's not na 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 i for i am forcing myself i am genuinely forcing myself to listen to um gospel music to listen to um um church sermons on youtube i am forcing myself to dwell more on the positive side of life as much as i'm still in, i'm still unemployed as much as um, my youtube channel is growing so slow as much as um i'm not happy basically with where with where i am right now but i like told myself one day would you, you know what all i need is to be patient i need to be patient with myself i need to be patient with god and also i discovered the woody one of the things that make us today to be like depressed about life is that we think that when we pray to god we just have to sit and wait for him to answer our prayers right and that's not how it is that's not how it works i discovered to go see i might be angry at god because i ain't doing nothing like i'm not doing anything i'm just praying and not like doing something about my prayers you know so um i just i don't know like i think it was god and i know it was him i just decided to go you know what while I'm not happy with where I am, let me work hard for where I want to be. So um, I decided to pick up my phone and I started recording. As I was like in the middle of recording, yo guys, I don't know if it was a switch, but I was like, I don't like this video i don't like the way i look i don't like like everything about this video like i just i can't explain it guys and i wiped my makeup switched off my phone i went back to bed i cried i cried so much because you know when you're trying so hard to um move from something like when you try to detach yourself from things that are not um helping you grow and the moment you think okay i'm, I'm safe now and then something comes up or that same thing comes back to you and you're like oh my gosh here we go again I cried so much guys and the voice came back and said to me you know what nobody's watching your youtube channels anyway like um just 
forget about um being a digital content creator just forget about it you don't have the tools you're not rich enough hey well guys <laughs> you would think that i'm lying or i'm making this up but so certain guys so certain that guy works over time i like deleted like i deleted the video i cried i cried i cried and um it was during the day and the following day i like wanted to try again and i couldn't like i was so defeated again and i did not record and guys something in my mind was like check your youtube studio check your youtube studio i checked my youtube studio and i had like 99 subscribers i was like oh my gosh i'm close i'm getting close to 100 and i would really really be happy if i reach um 100 subscribers so i posted on my status whatsapp status and i said guys i'm one subscriber away from reaching 100 subscribers please make my day and subscribe and a few like not even hours like a few moments later i when i went and checked again i had 100 subscribers and i was so so happy and i shifted my focus on the negative then I shifted my focus from the negative to the positive and I was so happy about it. So I ended up having 105 subscribers. I was so happy. <laughs> like a few days later, I am checking my YouTube studio how I have 103 subscribers. I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened now? <laughs> like what happened? Because, um... I did like post two or one video um, after that. Even posting video, guys, it was a struggle. I kept on having my copyright claims. Yo! But then I was like, oh, okay, it's fine. A very bad things are happening to me. So I'm like immune to this bad stuff happening. I get guys. After that, I kept on checking my YouTube studio every day, every day, every day. And to tell you, Guti, that was not a good idea. I am telling you now, that was not a good idea because I got back to depression. Like, I was so depressed, Guti. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I'm really not good enough. Yo, guys. Mm -mm. It was that difficult. But, in a way, like, funny thing about God, he finds a way to... um rescue you yabo because deep down in my heart i did think you would see god is still with me god is still with me as much as i'm going through this but god is still with me even on those days when i was angry at him i would like have a minute of thinking with Ibo. but god has like brought me this far like i have been through a lot and he has helped me so much in the past and why why would he like um stop helping me now why would he forsake me yeah well guys and i just continued i continued watching inspirational videos and listening to um christian songs and what's not sorry so um i'm here now i'm here now and also i so if you are watching this and you have been going through the same thing even though i didn't like mention everything because i didn't want to make this video an emotional one but yeah guys i just want you to know and understand Uti, every day we are fighting battles and it's not really about us fighting battles it's about a battle between good and evil especially when you're choosing to be on the good side the evil side will try and attack you ngayo yonke indlela so the best thing to do for yourself is to um form and maintain a relationship with god and what i do now is every morning i would listen to a sermon 
like like when i'm making the bed when i'm like making breakfast i would make sure that i'm listening to something that is inspirational and that has <coughs> that is sorry that is um more on the godly side that is how i would start my day and that has helped me a lot i know we we'll see sometimes even like clicking on that video takes so much strength but you need like to push yourself because when you like get comfortable in pain nothing good comes out of it nothing grows in pain so yeah guys um i really pray that you uh you get better and i really pray that you find strength and you are not alone you are not alone yeah guys this is the end of the video i hope you did enjoy it and please feel free to ask me any questions on the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe what is this fly doing now please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and you know what to do i will see you guys on my next video it's me giving out blessings and love i love you